everyone and welcome back to another video here at senior cat wellness we've talked about life in the great outdoors several times if it's safe to allow your cat to go outside how long they should stay out if they do go out where cats go at night we've covered a lot of topics regarding life beyond your home and while today's subject question is indeed a rather loaded one and i certainly don't have a crystal ball that can predict an outcome what i can do is give you the tools needed to proceed with confidence and peace of mind. First things first, it is my recommendation that you should only allow your cat to go outside if they're at least six months old. Give your pet that all-important maturing time. Next, make sure your cat is properly vaccinated, spayed or neutered, and microchipped. Because you can't predict the outcome each time you open that door, it's important to do all that you can to make sure that your cat can be as safe as possible and returned to you if found. Outside of that, it's really all about trusting your cat and leaning on the bond that you have cultivated. Beyond that, it's really about name recognition, your cat knowing its name, and the ability of your pet to have proper scent recognition, allowing that nose to be the guide back home. When it comes to somewhat of a trial run, let your cat go outside on a nice day, a calm day. Allow them to roam around and explore for 10 to 20 minutes while keeping a watchful eye on where they go and what they do. In these moments, your cat will start to shape their own outdoor foundation. Do this, if possible, several times over the course of several days and even several weeks. This will allow your cat to become familiar with the surrounding areas and also learn the cues to come home. And don't be surprised if during these trials your cat wanders off a bit. This can be a moment to panic, but this is where that trust comes in. After all, if this is something that you have decided to do, let your cat outdoors. Just remain calm and patient. Most cats, even when out of sight, will return in rather short order. It really all comes back to establishing a routine. Cats, by and large, when they leave a given home to roam, say in a neighborhood setting, for example, they usually don't travel any further than 50 yards in any direction at the very most. So, you can take heart in knowing that just because you can't always see your cat, they can likely hear you, and chances are they could be just right under your nose, somewhat hiding in plain sight. And let's not ignore the fact that some cats just enjoy being contrarians from time to time, and they won't always come just because you're calling. Felines enjoy calling the shots. Most of the time, an overwhelming majority of the time, your cat is just fine. They're just roaming, perhaps playing a little mind game with you, being silly, being contrary. If your cat can physically come home, they will. Sometimes, you just have to wait it out a bit. During those early days, those trial periods, make it clear that rewards await a safe return home. Provide your cat with fresh food or treats when they come back. If this becomes part of the routine, your cat will remember. And once that sun starts to go down, they'll become more and more inclined to head on back to the house because they know that something nice awaits. I mentioned a bit earlier that this topic question is a rather loaded one, simply due to the fact that so many unique variables are in play. The overall health of your cat, your pet's personality, the bond that you share with your cat, and the environment around your home. This is why allowing your cat to roam outside could be a positive for some and very much a negative for others. I want to close by saying and make it quite clear that the final choice is yours. You certainly don't need me to tell you how to live. Weigh the options and then make the best decision that you see fit. Will your cat come home if you let them outside? Odds are very high that they will, however. In many respects, that's not even the point. There's a lot of patience involved with this practice. 
Are you naturally just an anxious person? Do you worry quite a bit? Well, having your cat roam the great outdoors and not come home when you'd like them to do so, that could be just another thing on your plate of stress. That's in fact another factor to consider. How much can you personally handle? I can give you the baseline and talk about feline instincts and provide you with positive reassurance, but I can't provide a guarantee. And I also can't tell you what to do with your very own pet. So, the ball is in your court, and that's just where it should be. Attempt a few trial runs if you'd like, and then take it from there and make your decision. The decision that's best for you and best for your cat. Before I close, I'll just say that my cats used to spend hours outside each day. This went on for a few years. Those same cats today, they haven't been outside for a single second in a few years. I made a decision as an owner that was best for my cats and best for me. I encourage you to do the same. Your overall thoughts on this subject. Your thoughts regarding my thoughts. The comment section, as always, it's all yours. And as always, I do thank you so very much for taking some time out of your very busy day to join me right here at Senior Cat Wellness. Did you like what you heard today? If you did, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we will talk to you later.